What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel another video. Today we're gonna to be doing an open cup with a cookie cutter and we're using Thalo Blue, Cadmium Red. I have a Light Blue from Artist Loft and a Cerulean Blue from Artist Loft and Titanium White. How's everybody doing? How you guys doing? Seriously, how you doing? Well, I hope everybody's doing amazing. All these colors are mixed two parts, pouring medium to one part paint. And there are one to two drops of the OGX Coconut Milk Hair Serum in each color. And we are just gonna let this fly. So I've been trying to think of a good way to paint a landscape combining fluid art with um, kind of hot glue. So, I mean, it is technically still fluid. Um, like sculpting the trees and stuff with hot glue, then some brushwork and what have you. I don't know. It's just something that's been kind of just stuck in my head. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. I didn't put a little base coat around the edge. So now I will just take a little bit of white and do a small ring around. I like doing that because it lets the paint travel underneath that white and then that white becomes the contrasting color on the top for the most part. Just let that escape and you'll see what I mean with the cells that start developing. All right, let's see. A little bit more titanium white. This is a very small canvas. I think it's an eight by eight, but you don't need a big canvas to make pretty things, so. But I hope everybody's holidays went well and we're all back to, you know, doing our jobs and whatnot. So I hope everybody's having a great 2024 so far. And it's only going to get better every single day. All right, let's set it loose. I love that. Uh, light blue gradient between the, the dark blue there. I think that's actually really stunning. I'm gonna layer a little bit more blue. I wanna have a break before we get those red cells again. I'm just kinda doing really thin layers right now. The thinner the layers you do, the finer the lines within the bullseye cells will be. And I think that's good. That'll be a nice segue to kind of push us into a little bit of red. And I'm gonna layer some white on top of that and potentially lighten it up a little bit. Wanted to use orange, but orange and blue make very not happy colors together. My goodness, look at that. That's fantastic looking. I want to take a heat gun to it. Kind of start exposing a few more cells because I know there's more under there. So we're just going to rotate it. Letting that heat just warm up the paint. So we get some really cool looking effects. Mm -hmm. liking what I'm seeing so far. Yep, see the bright red right there. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going for. All right. Now we're gonna start doing small layers because we are getting, we, we probably have enough to cover the canvas right now. Just with those few little things. And I just want to say a thank you to everybody that has taken uh, my online course. We're getting up to triple digits now, and it, it just feels really good. Like the, the feedback from you guys is just amazing. A lot of you guys are just kind of blown away by the amount of learning that's in that lesson at the price it's you know listed at. And it just makes me feel really good to be able to help you guys. 
That's cool looking. Yeah, I like that. All right. Let's further make these layers really small. Because as I get to the center, I like to, you know, put thinner and thinner layers so that the center of the painting has an opportunity for cells. Because if I was to put a, a, just a big spot of dark blue after I stretched it, that's basically all you'd see. Let's see, I think, I think this is our last layer. I just want a little tiny spot of red. Then we'll do some white over it. Just tiny, tiny layers. And the cerulean blue is a beautiful color. Here we go. Ooh, here we go. We got like a pomegranate looking cell right there. I love those. And I haven't gotten those with Floetrol or other pouring mediums. Only I've only gotten those with Artist Loft pouring medium. So I don't know if there's something with the medium that causes that, but I love it because it looks super cool. All right, so we definitely have enough. Let me break the surface tension on this cup. Now I could just lift it and leave it like that, but I do typically like to swipe the rim of the cup through to kind of have more of a, a uniform look to it. Plus we can get cells in the center more easy that way. So I'm gonna take the heat gun Warm it up, bring some of those cells to the surface now before we spin. That way they have a really good chance to grow large. And we have a couple spots here that are being stubborn, but we have ways to make them come. We do. All right, so like right in these areas, I, I feel like there could be so much more right there. So I'll just kiss it with the the torch, just a little bit, not a lot. Then I'm gonna take my remaining white and go around this edge here. I want to give this paint something to move on so it's not just rolling under. Ooh, I like that. It's really cool looking. All right, well, I'm ready to spin it if you guys are. Yeah, we got a nice, it, it created those cells very, very nicely. So we'll just give it a little spin. And that's about as much as we really even need to spin it. Can we stop it? Ooh. Now all those reds kind of look orange, which is awesome. But I know that we have some deep reds in there just hiding. They're just hiding and they're asking me to bring them out. So let's see. Now that we've thinned these layers out, we can bring even more cells to the surface. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love those little pomegranate looking cells. Those things are so nice. Alrighty, well, let me bring you guys down. I want you guys to see this thing because it looks super cool. All right, all of these really, really tiny cells. And then we did get the red to come back through. Now we didn't use very much red, so that's about as much red as I would have expected. I did not want it to take over. I just wanted sight, or slight subtle accents within the blue.
If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.